Hey guys, what's going on? Can all hear Bulls on Walls. I want to talk to you about something. I think this is really, really important. It's something I screwed up on today, but it, it, it's a classic mistake, and uh, I think it's really important to understand. Um, when you're having trades and you have a stock that you're watching, if you miss the first entry in it, you know, don't freak yourself out. There's always secondary entries, and and that's a uh, you know a lesson I learned today was uh, I, on that same principle. You know, I had this nugget. Uh, this is a gold ETF. Uh, I watched for a short, you know, for days, and you know, today was really the day it was ready. So I was hoping for a gap up in it to short, and we didn't get that. It gapped down, and so what happened was, you know, it had this huge spike down at, at the open, down to. A hundred and fifty-four dollars, and so you know what I was. I sat there the whole time, like kind of annoyed. I'm like, man, I didn't get an entry because you know you can't chase this thing down here. And so I was really annoyed with myself, just like, oh, I didn't get the entry. I didn't get the entry, and um, so I took my eye off of it. And one of the things I always talk to my students about is, you know, just because you missed the first entry does not mean you won't get to trade it. That stocks that are trending. Or that have a potential for a big move will often give you a secondary entry and a third entry and often even a fourth entry. You just got to be patient and wait for it. You know, bide your time and wait for it, and it will come. And so that's a, a simple mistake that I made today. Was you know I was so annoyed that it got down that I took my eye off of it. And what ended up happening is it gave me a secondary entry in what's known as an ORB pattern, that's your opening range breakdown, which is actually one of my favorite patterns. But because I was so annoyed that I missed the first one, you know, I took my eye off it for a second, and I missed the second entry, which is often a little bit less risky, much easier. Uh, and you can see here, like, you know, after the spike down, you can see it consolidated right under its VWAP, and it did an ORB pattern, which is a really just like a tight flag. And you had a really nice uh, $8 drop, more than $8 drop here uh, in 30 minutes. And so, you know, I usually trade about 1,000 shares of this. So there was, a, you know, the potential to make four, five, six, seven, eight thousand dollars $8,000 was there. And instead, you know, um, I was sitting there pouting that I missed my entry. And so it's something to always remember, guys, that there are entries that you can take at the open. But a nice stock with a big range with a lot of potential will give you those second and third entries also. So never take your eye off the ball. Focus and really dig down deep. And when you miss a play, just understand that there will always be more plays. The market is an opportunity generating mechanism, meaning that it's not just a one trick pony. You will have other opportunities. You just have to focus and wait for the moment, and they will come back. Never chase a stock. It will come back and give you another play. And you can see, you know, we got a tap midday tap back into the VWAP, and, you know, there was a couple other plays I could have done. And so uh, just, a, a, you know, we're always learning lessons in the market. market's a teacher, and uh, today I learned one too. And it's just a mental thing, right? It's a, it's a matter of focus. Don't worry if you miss something. They will come back. So, guys, I uh, hope that helps and uh, just something to keep in mind. I'll see you guys all later. Take care.